Welcome to The Wealthiest, where you will learn the ins and outs about the world's elite, how they live and how they spend their accumulated wealth. Let's get started. The online retailer Amazon will establish a second headquarters in the United States in Arlington County, Virginia, in a few years. HQ2 will be in addition to their current headquarters in Seattle, Washington. But it won't just be another office building. Rather, it will include a variety of intriguing and environmentally friendly features, like the Helix, a distinctive structure. Today, we'll look closely at this multi-billion dollar project, from how the concept was developed to the money incurred to the way in which construction has gone thus far as well as the contents of the facility. Consequently, let's begin. Amazon HQ2 National Landing will serve as the location of Jeff Bezos' new corporate headquarters. When it was formally revealed in 2018 that HQ2 will be located right adjacent to Washington, Virginia, this phrase was used to describe a new location that included portions of the neighborhoods of Crystal City and Pentagon City in Arlington County. Amazon has said that HQ2 will generate 25,000 jobs over the next 10 years, and they have also claimed that the project's total investment will be $2.5 billion. Penn Place, one of the key locations in the multi-phase plan is the construction of Penn Place, which will be built alongside most of the project by real estate investment company JBG Smith. Penn Place will occupy 2.8 million square feet of office space within three 22-story building structures, making it roughly three and a half times larger than London's Buckingham Palace, which is 830,000 square feet. Amazon had, however, initially intended to increase their office space to 6 million square feet over the period of the following 10 years. The buildings will be designed to be lead platinum, which is the highest classification given out by the United States Green Building Council for Sustainable Buildings. With the help of the architectural company NBBJ, Penn Place was created. Its goal is to have all of its office buildings run entirely on renewable energy. The solar farm in Pennsylvania County, Virginia, will provide the energy and rainfall runoff will be used to hydrate the plants there. An amphitheater will be built on site facing Essential Green, which could be used for outdoor live music. There will also be a designated area for a farmer's market to set up inside, as well as a space for an outdoor cinema. Pin Place will have more than two and a half acres of open area that the general populace can also enjoy. In September 2020, restaurants, shops, a daycare center, and a dog park will all be open in Pin Place. For those hotter days, a woodland grove will provide respite from the sun by spending an additional $148.5 million on the residence inn, which was run by hotel chain Mary on top of the structure. Amazon further decided to expand the site for Penn Place. With the addition of the 1.5 acres of surrounding land, Amazon now owned an 11.6 acre block for Penn Place. This portion of HQ2 is currently scheduled to be finished by 2025. The Helix, if you are familiar with Amazon's corporate headquarters in Seattle, Washington, you may be aware with the spheres that debuted there in 2018. These huge domes had forest gardens that were open to both staff members and the general public. Amazon is creating a structure akin to this in Virginia dubbed the Helix, a glass spiral building that will measure 350 feet in length. According to BBJ, the Helix will provide Amazon employees with a variety of alternate workspaces. There will be two walkways that spiral up to the exterior of the building, which will be surrounded by beautiful gardens and blooming local trees. The Helix will also include inside gardens, an artist in residence program, and a conference space with room for 1,500 people. While the structure is intended to be a double helix, the public will only be allowed to view it on a few weekends each month. It appears more like a specific emoji, according to some reviewers. Project history, with Amazon's ongoing growth, the company put out a call for proposals in 2017. They said they were looking to build a second headquarters and asked for suggestions from cities in North America. The cities had to meet certain criteria, like being quote metropolitan areas with a population of over 1 million people at the time. Amazon said they planned to invest $5 billion in the chosen location and create 50,000 high paying jobs for the community. According to estimates, more than 230 applications were submitted from all across the continent. However, Amazon said that from 2010 to 2016, they feel they contributed $38 billion to the economy of Seattle from its first headquarters. By November 2, 2018, Amazon had chosen two winners, North Virginia and New York City. They had decided to divide their project in half, creating two $2.5 billion structures in each winner's region and creating 25,000 jobs in both sections. New Jersey had submitted incentives for Amazon worth $7 billion. 
years, while Maryland's proposal added $8.5 billion. Arlington County would receive up to $800 million from Amazon in exchange, and Queens would reportedly earn up to $3 billion in tax rebates and financial incentives. Amazon also revealed plans to invest $230 million to build an operations center of excellence in Nashville, Tennessee, with a projected $1 billion in economic impact over the following 10 years. Amazon decided not to reopen the competition for a new second location to complement Virginia and instead decided to move forward with just the $2.5 billion site in the state. Constructing HQ2, Metropolitan Park will be located above the first phase of the project's two 22-story office towers, which will house 2.1 million square feet of office space and 67,000 square feet of ground floor retail space with a daycare center and eateries similar to Penn Place. This segment will be built on top of the initial phases Penn Place HQ2 building. It was structured by ZGF Architects. The structures at Metropolitan Park will also serve as a showcase for sustainability because they are lead platinum certified and get their renewable power from the Virginia Solar Farm. Bike riders will also benefit from the first phase's design because it has protected bike lanes and bike rooms that can hold up to 500 bicycles at once. Approximately 600 Amazon HQ2 employees are now based in nearby existing office buildings that are being leased to the company from JBG Smith all through 2020. There are also approximately two acres of open public space for local residents to wander in. Demolition began in the area in 2020 and Metropolitan Park is presently set to open in 2023. Within the meantime, as of April 2021, these buildings are still home to about 600 Amazon HQ2 employees. Amazon spent out on a 6.2-acre land in Pentagon City to be used for Metropolitan Park. They bought the site from JBG Smith for $154.95 million as part of the agreement, and Amazon handed the Arlington County Administration with $20 million toward their affordable housing fund. In addition, Amazon had to pay an additional $14 million to develop and maintain the green space surrounding Metropolitan Park. Conclusion, it would be interesting for us as developers to really explore that and force that as far as we can in aspects of how that construction is designed and built because it will be a place that people will want to travel to as a desired location. However, we can't predict the future, so let's hope that everything proceeds as planned for this project. It's meant to incorporate nature into this place while also being inspired by it. These are investments for the long haul. This is about where we wish to be in terms of having to submit our 4.1 plans, and these buildings won't open until 2025, so hopefully by then things will have changed significantly. According to him, the pandemic hasn't affected the development of Metropolitan Park or the hiring of staff. The company has said it will hire 25,000 staff for the Arlington headquarters, and since making that official statement more than two years ago, 1,600 people have found work. That's it for today, but before you leave, don't forget to like and share this video if you find it fascinating. You can also subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to see more engaging videos. Until the next one, stay connected.